Hello folks, so I thought I'd do something different today and just show you my startup routine. I've rolled out two rigs already and I, I thought I'd just show you what I what I do to start up everything. I've already done my polar alignment. Um, I didn't put that on video because I already have another video that shows how to do polar alignment with the pole master. But I'll, I'll show you just how my routine and starting everything up and launching two rigs. So let's have a look. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Both uh, both of my rigs are set up. They are polar aligned. And let me start up my primary rig first. I'm going to launch Sequence Generator Pro. And I am connected to this rig with a 20 meter line. And I'm running this from the comfort uh, inside the house. All right, let me open up my sequence here. I'm going after a, a really hard object. I don't even know if this is going to work. <laughs> we'll see. It's SH211. I need a lot of data on this thing. Um, I'm going to bump up this to uh, the, the oxygen to 150 subs. I might even need more than that. So let's see if I can connect to everything. Now I've already done a one star alignment on the CGX mount. This is the, that's the rig I'm working with here, the CGX and the Explore Scientific scope. And I did a one star alignment. I didn't even bother to make it accurate. I just did a, the one star alignment to start the mount tracking because uh, Sequence Generator Pro requires your mount to be tracking before it, it can do anything or it can't control the mount. So I've connected all the equipment and let's hit run. Oh, let me make sure my focus is turned on here. Okay, let's hit run. And the first thing I should do is go into plate solving. Uh, the camera is still cooling down. That's okay. Well, by the time I'm imaging, it should be okay. Just launch PHD2 automatically. By the time I'm ready to image, after I go to the plate solving, and by the time I autofocus, the temperature of the camera should should be down there, should be down to a minus 20. Oh, here, let's look at the, you can see my, my primary rig move in there to its target. Let's go back to Sequence Generator Pro here. I just like to make sure it plays all correctly before I, I actually start up the second rig. Uh, I found it pretty quickly. I'm going to plug the second 20 meter line into my other computer here, the laptop. It's right next to my desktop, by the way. Okay, hang on here. Resuming auto glider. Sometimes, once in a great while, it won't automatically resume the auto glider. Oh, but this time it did. Switching to oxygen, and it's going in the auto focus. Let's hurry up and start up the second rig while this is running. Sometimes I'm in a panic mode or I get confused trying to do two things at once here. Okay. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing on my second rig. So let me do um, uh, connect all on this one. Connect all equipment. Yeah, that's okay. I know sometimes that the moonlight file well, clicking in. Sometimes the moonlight focuser doesn't connect. I have to do it manually. Oh, okay, now it's connected. All right, and um, 
let's see, I'm in Sequence Generator Pro. Oops. And I have to unpark the mount and start it tracking by clicking that star there. And now I should be able to plate solve on this one. Let's hit run. And um, let, let's let's see the uh, oh there's a focus, but it I think it's going to start over here. It, I don't see any green lines. Let's see the uh, you can see my secondary rig moving into position there. Yeah, sometimes uh, the focuser has to the focus routine has to run twice to, at the start of a session, and that looks like it's that's what it's going to do now on the primary rig. So, let's see, no match found. Why not? It says no match found. Hmm. I'm on my secondary rig now. Uh oh, god dang it! You know what? I can tell already. It's um, I can tell just by looking at the screen here, the, 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 the imaging camera and the guide camera are backwards. I'm going to restart this. You know, someone told me how to fix this in EQ you know, in, in, uh, in ASCOM. But let me see if I can remember how to do that. So I'm going to put this on. I, that's definitely the wrong kit. I'm imaging with the, the guide camera right now. That's the problem when you have... Um, the guide camera and the imaging camera are both from the same manufacturer. They get confused as to which is which. So let's have a look if I can remember where this setting was. Let's try and fix this once and for all with the ASCOM settings. Somebody told me where this was. ASCOM, platform, oh geez, I'm never going to find it. Profile Explorer. Let's see. Telescope drivers, video drivers, camera drivers. You see right there, it, it uh, it thinks this is the driver I'm using for the guide camera, and look at it. It's using the the imaging camera for ASI. Hmm. Now, what is the name of that other cam? Of that? What's the name of that camera? If I could fix this once and for all if I knew the exact name. ASI two two four MC. Is that? You think I'll get that lucky? I don't know if they're using a... Alright, let's close this. So I'm going to shut this down. Do you want to save the sequence? No. Okay, I've rebooted. Let's just start from scratch here. Figures on the, the day I'm recording it, it wants to act up on me. Of course. Um, let's see, what am I doing here? All right, SH2119. Let's hit connect all. Oh, it didn't ask me that last time. Now it did. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. It, all right, everything connected. And... Let's see, I'm going to unpark. Let's go back to Sequence Generator Pro first. All right, I'm going to unpark the mount. Start, because I, I put it back to the home position if you saw earlier. Start the tracking. Shrink that. Now, let's see. Please work. Pretty please. Let, let's go to the surveillance camera and see. Okay, at least the mount is moving. Let's go back here. If plate solving works, you know I'm pointing to the right camera.
It's not finding anything. Oh, there it is. Hey, it worked. And I can already tell the stars are more pinpoint here. It's not a jumbled mess like it, like my guide camera was. So, all right, I fixed it. I rebooted and maybe that profile change helped the case too. Who knows? Okay, should pick a guide star. All right. So tracking has started. Tracking usually gets off to a crappy start, but that's okay. It gets better as the day goes on. Okay, now it's gone into the autofocus routine. For HA, you can see right here my HA filter. Okay, there's the there's the, the V curve here. And if it if it doesn't like the focus, it will usually tell you so. But I don't think it's gonna complain about this one. You might get a warning sometimes. I think it's fine. No warnings. Okay, if you've lasted this long, I commend you. That was a rocky beginning. <laughs> oh, boy. And I am dead tired, let me tell you. Running two rigs is really starting to get to me. Uh, yeah, I have so much data collected right now, and I feel like I'm a squirrel gathering nuts for the winter. You know, I don't know when I'm going to process it all. But anyway... Um, SH2115. This is not... In, uh, HA is very strong on this. Um... But uh, the, the oxygen and the sulfur are both very weak. I see nothing coming through in a single sub, and I haven't even tried to stack the data yet either for sulfur and and uh, and uh, oxygen. So I don't I don't even know. Um, now I thought I I thought I dot the histogram here. Let's anyway. That's what the histogram looks like. How do you put it back here? It was supposed, maybe I didn't save this, I don't know. So there's a histogram for people who like to see the histogram. Um, and uh, let's let's take a look at the guiding. I'm, I haven't really done much to fix the CGX, but I'm pointing almost straight up. And uh, at 0.69, you know what? All of a sudden it seems to be doing much better. I, I, I'm going to... I'm just going to let it keep, I'm not going to touch the CGX for now. I'm going to let it go as, as long as I can until it starts acting up again. And maybe I was just pointing to a dead spot where it didn't like last time. I don't know, but I like this guiding right now. I can live with this. And uh, and I, I'm sure my stars are, are probably round. I hope so anyway. They're usually much more round, I notice. My, my wide field setup uh, definitely has field curvature around the edges, and I have to end up cropping. And I don't know if you can hear my clock going off. I'm going to end it right here, folks. I will see you later. Thanks for watching that rocky, <laughs> that rocky intro. Okay, I'm signing out.